ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and say that I think it is the end of a dynasty when it comes to the Golden State Warriors, man. I know a lot of people have a hard time letting go of these teams that have dominated for so many years. So, so many years, bro. But the end always comes and a new team always comes. And a couple of the reasons that I think the Warriors dynasty is over. I mean, so far, I think they're, what, 9 and 11 this year, which is terrible. They're not even in the playoffs. And I think, like, their last 10 games, they went, like, 3 and 7. And a couple of factors come into play, bro. Injuries always come into play. Klay Thompson hasn't been fully healthy. You know, um, Steph Curry, uh, he's already 35 years old. You all, you see Draymond Green sitting there with the big-ass ice packs on his knees. These dudes have a lot of wear and tear and a lot of miles under their belts, bro, that they've been playing, going to these finals. They won four of them. They lost a few of them. So they've been to the finals quite a few times. And, um, you know, they, they chipped up four times, which is amazing. You know, a lot of teams, man, don't even have a championship if you think about it, bro. But it's over, bro. It is over. And I knew it was over last year. The way the Lakers dominated the Warriors. I'm like, bro. Even watching those games when it was close at points. You just kind of felt that Lakers were going to win. That these dudes stood no chance playing the Lakers. And I feel like they barely squeaked by when they played the Sacramento Kings. Um, you know, and, and other things that obviously came into play is the whole Jordan Poole thing was a complete disaster. I mean, this dude was supposed to come in and be like that next Clay Thompson. And, you know, like, no disrespect, like, there's only one Clay Thompson. But you guys get the picture that I'm trying to paint, bro. He was supposed to come in there, knock down threes, get buckets, put points on the board. And he did absolutely none of that, bro. He couldn't even buy a bucket. I keep going back to that Lakers series. Bro, this dude couldn't make a shot to save his life. So Jordan Poole really bit them in the butt. I feel like another um, thing that really bit the Warriors in the butt is the play of Andrew Wiggins, bro. Andrew Wiggins is supposed to at least be putting up 22 a game, bro. He's averaging about 12 points, a little bit over 12 points a game this season and that is just not going to cut it that is just not going to get the job done all these people on on the media all these dudes on espn fox sports and all this you know people on the radio saying you can't count out the warriors and blah 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 blah, blah. excuse me before this season started well guess what you guys could now go ahead and say it's a wrap it's over it's finetto it's done bro it's done all great things, all good things come to an end. It was a great run, but it's just it's just over. And I don't understand how people were so hyped about Chris Paul going over there to the Warriors. Chris Paul is a Hall of Fame point guard, bro. One of the best. But you have to understand, this man is old, bro. He is old to be playing basketball, I mean, bro. And that's no shots at Chris Paul. I, like I said, I think he's one of the best point guards to ever play. But he is getting older. He is old, bro. And he is always hurt. I don't remember the last time this dude was healthy in the playoffs, bro. This dude is already hurt. I mean, he's already missed games this season. What did you guys expect, bro? That Chris Paul was going to come and back up Curry, bro, and save the day? It's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. Like I said, man, you got teams um, like Sacramento uh, coming up. You got, um, I know Memphis, you know, has been struggling because Morant has, you know, he's had that situation. He hasn't been playing. But, you know, you got, you got the Grizzlies. You got the Nuggets. You got the Mavericks, bro. And I'm just looking here. The Phoenix Suns, Pelicans are coming up. You know what I'm saying, bro? Rockets have been playing decent. You still got the Clippers over there. You got the Lakers, the Thunder, the Wolves. Bro, even if the Warriors squeak into the playoffs, I'm going to give you guys the top eight right now. Timberwolves, Thunder, Nuggets, Mavericks, Lakers, Kings, Suns, and the eighth spot is Pelicans, bro. Bro, I am almost certain any of those seven teams that I mentioned, if they squeak into the eighth spot, they're loose to any of those teams. It's a wrap, man. It's over for the Warriors. It's sad to say it was a great run, 
All good things come to an end, but this is my opinion. What do you guys think? You think this is the end of a dynasty? Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you're rocking with it. Sub to the channel if you're not sub. We're trying to grow out here, man. Peace and blessings to all my real ones. We out of here till the next one.